Hey, what up, everybody? This is Youth Pastor Al. We're going to be getting to some sessions today. This is our at one uh, recording session. And uh, and I hope you enjoy the Word of God because today we're going to be talking about something that's very serious uh, in which I believe uh, is long overdue. This is the kind of stuff that don't nobody really want to talk about, but it must be talked about uh, because a lot of times on Sundays we like to give uh, scriptures that uh, we like to talk about things that are always encouraging. We want to talk about things that are always, you know, rarely do we like to get into the heavy, nitty-gritty, negative uh, stuff that people don't really want to talk about, but what they deal with every day. And one of those things is drug addiction and uh, alcohol addiction. And uh, uh, so what does the word say about it? I really think that it's really important that we talk about it and that uh, you have some frame of reference to look in the Word of God. And I'm going to be just giving you several scriptures today as to what the Word of God says uh, concerning drug addiction, alcohol addiction, um, anything that is of a controlled substance or nature in your body, and which I think is very important for us to know what the Word is saying about that. Uh, mainly because there's a lot of um, young people who think that it's that that, that it's okay to uh, smoke weed. Uh, is the reason why I'm talking about this, um, and because uh, they have been uh, really heavy in trying to release legislation uh, to legalize marijuana. Uh, some of you probably already knew, uh, and so. You know, marijuana is becoming more of a recreational type drug, and there's a lot of young people who think that, you know, uh, maybe this is okay, Pastor Al. Where is the Bible actually saying that it's a sin? Is, is it a sin? Is it not a sin? All of those uh, things. Uh, and so it's very important that we understand what the Word of God is saying about any drug um and uh, regarding alcohol, uh, me and my wife went and saw flight uh, with Denzel Washington, and uh, and that movie was dealing with alcoholism. And uh, so, you know, as a result of a lot of these things that are going on, I thought it was con it was necessary that you know that I at least address some of these issues uh, regarding drugs and alcohol and things to that nature. Uh, so uh, let's take our first scripture. is uh, going to be found in Galatians chapter 5, verse number 19 through 21. And uh, alcoholism or drugs, um, let's, let's say mainly weed, mainly uh, marijuana is, is the main thing that I want to touch on. Uh, the... It's a way that people are using to help deal with their problems. And uh, and I understand medical marijuana and all that kind of stuff, but most people ain't using it for medical marijuana. Most people, they are smoking weed because of uh, recreation. Uh, they can't, they, they want to, uh, they're using it as a coping mechanism for the issues that they're going through, you know. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 5, let's look at that if you got your Bibles. Let's grab it, open it up. Let's look at verse number 19 through 21. It says, now the works of the flesh are made manifest, which are these. Adultery, when they're talking about what is the work of the flesh. Adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry. Uh, witchcraft, hatred, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envying, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such of the like of which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Everybody should say works of the flesh. And what the scripture is basically saying 
is that there is no spiritual profit in doing the works of the flesh. Those people who uh, rely on works of the flesh to try to be for an answer in life, you're not going to get where you need to get with God uh, using works of the flesh. So uh, we got to understand that this thing right here, this flesh right here, it really want to go, it, it is headed to go back to the dirt. It's headed for the grave. It's headed for death. The flesh, in the Bible says, in the flesh lies no good thing. There's nothing good about the flesh. So you got to understand is that when you begin to operate in the flesh, then there is no way that you're operating in the kingdom of God. When you begin to talk and constantly deal with uh, 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 using the flesh as your form of coping with life, using flesh as your form of how you're going to deal with the situation, you're not going to get anywhere with that. You're not going to get anywhere with God with doing that. There's things that are made manifest in the flesh, but you're not going to be able to uh, operate in the kingdom of God using the flesh because the Bible talks about how the flesh is not God's mode of operation. Everything that is of the flesh will experience death. So we have to understand we are operating in the kingdom of God, totally different kingdom, totally different uh, mode of operation. And God is trying to move us out of the flesh into the spirit, into the spiritual realm, into the things of God, into the things that will last forever, uh, not of the things of the flesh. Uh, turn to me to Galatians chapter 5, verse number 16. Uh, we're going to go to 24. It says, but I say, walk by the spirit, and if you will not gratify the desire of the flesh, for the desires of the flesh are against the spirit, and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things that you want to do. But if you are led by the spirit, you are uh, if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. For the works of the flesh are evident, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, uh, adultery, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, and divisions. All of those are works of the flesh and uh, <laughs> not works of the spirit. And they're not the things of God. And uh, a lot of people need to get back to this teaching because if you are away from this teaching, I mean, you can see how the world is, is you know, is, is suffering because we have many leaders who are led by the flesh, not many leaders that are led by the spirit. Uh, matter of fact, the more they, uh, uh, anytime you talk about the spirit, even time you talk about the things that are strong in the spirit, which the fruits of the spirit, which is love, joy, peace, and all those things, you know, they they look at you as if you're looking at, as if you're living in an unattainable world, as if you're living in a world that uh, that is no longer relevant. You know, they try to say that the Bible is not relevant, but the Bible is truth. And so what we have to understand is that the world does not want you and uh, the people of the world and, the, and the, the enemy, the devil, those who are operating in a worldly nature, they don't want you to start operating in the spirit. They want you to start operating in the flesh because they know that the spirit is what gives life. You say, well, why would they, why would they do that? Why would they be about that? Because the, the world, the Bible talks about how the world is not led of the spirit. It's, it's, it's led of the flesh and how the devil is is uh, is the ruler of the airways and of 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 a lot of what you see on television and a lot of what you see uh, these are fleshly things and when it's time to begin to move in the spirit you got to know how uh, to operate in the spirit let's turn to first Corinthians chapter three verse number sixteen it says do you not know that they that are this is do you not know that 
you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you. If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. When you're taking drugs or when you're putting weed or whatever, alcohol or whatever, and you're just putting stuff in your body to try to do that, don't you know that you are defiling the temple? The temp- you are the temple. You know, uh, a lot of us believe that the church is the temple, or, or we believe that the buildings and the, the bricks and the mortar and the building, that's not the church. You are the church. And the Bible says that you should not defile your temple. You should not defile who you are with the things of the flesh, that you should learn how to operate your temple in the things of the spirit, which is very important. Um, Let's also look at 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. It says, for everything created by God is good, and nothing is rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, for it is made holy by the word by the word of God and prayer. Um, so I don't want you to think that everything is bad. Everything is, uh, is, is, but what we receive of God is always going to be good. What, what am I saying? Why am I saying that? Because a lot of us, for whatever the, we, the reason, we think that, you know, anytime a person has a strong spiritual uh, belief system, or we say you may be a Christian, so you're not inclusive to other religions or you're not inclusive to other ideas. Open your mind and try to uh, receive all of these other things. But if it's not the truth, if it's not of God, then we, forever, for whatever the reason, many people think that Christianity is bad uh, because uh, we don't operate under the same principles as everybody else. And the deal is, is that the principles that we ought to be operating in are principles of the spirit, that the spirit of God, of truth. Uh, and we should be an example of what it is that God is looking for. So uh, I'm not going to be before you long. I mean, there's a lot more that I could share with you. Uh, but uh, considering this is my first recording, I don't want to get really heavy into all of that. Uh, but I want you to understand something, you know, that. If you're dealing with drugs and if you're dealing with um, anything that is not good like that, uh, it's time to put it down. Put this stuff. Something taught me that you never pick up what you can't put down. Start anything you can't stop. Addicted uh, to these drugs as as a way of coping. of the night driving around they done left the kids at home and they looking around for some weed and looking for some drugs and looking for stuff but totally uh out of control god is not pleased with that so we have to understand and be real serious about what it is that god last days man it's time to stop playing not being serious about what God is saying. He me the sheep with whom he may devour. Pray with you. Uh, whoever is watching this right now, I just want to pray. Father in heaven, we give you praise and we give you glory. Help them to be set free right now. Anything that will keep them from inheriting the kingdom. Touch them in the center of their heart. 